So what AWS or Amazon Web Services is, is a infrastructure as a service. So essentially where traditionally a data center had an infrastructure on which workloads were running that was owned and operated by a, a company, an organization, instead that infrastructure is being provided as a service on Amazon EC2. Um, so you'll hear people refer to it as AWS or just Amazon or EC2. Um, the utility of it is that companies can take advantage of a, a scale of architecture that they often can't, um, can't do within their own data center simply because of the scale of the investment. So that allows companies to do a lot of different things that are not available to them on their own dime, essentially. And there's also potential for cost savings. And that's especially the result of uh, the, the model being that essentially one is renting uh, computing power from AWS. So when you don't need that computing power, you don't pay for it. So instead of having to uh, scale an environment and pay for an environment, that is built to the peaks of usage, one really pays with the peaks or the valleys, thereby saving when performance goes into a valley.